couldn't ask for a more perfect day here at Chestnut Hill for football. Miami and Boston College just about set to kick it off. They've been filing into the student section for at least a couple of hours. So watch Boston College take on Al Golden's Miami Hurricanes. Still with plenty of controversy hovering over the program, awaiting possible sanctions coming up. Later on, after the new year, those sanctions might arrive. And well, Frank Spaziani, he wants to completely turn around what happened to Boston College last year. A 4-8 and eight season, their first losing season since 1998. And the heat is going to be on Frank Spaziani this season. He is one of those coaches on the hot seat. If BC is not able to turn a winning season, Danny Cannell maybe get back to a bowl game and erase the memory of last year. Yeah, they cannot wait to see this new offense. I'm excited to see it, too, with Doug Martin, new offensive coordinator. A little bit different style than what, than what they're used to here in Boston. A bit more of a spread look, more three wide receiver set. Miami won the toss. They deferred their option to the second half, so they will kick off and start the third quarter with the ball. And you'll notice all of the players within five yards of the football and the ball at the 35-yard line. New rules this year for college football in terms of kickoff. And about five yards deep in the end zone, Chrissy Evans fought for a moment about bringing it out, but takes a knee. And let's go down to the third member of our crew. On the field is Maria Taylor. Well, guys, Miami football's 34 freshmen don't have any collegiate playing experience, and they only return 35% of their offense. The head coach, Al Golden, said he's way more concerned with what it has now than it didn't last year. He said his team is actually practicing and competing, like it's chasing something instead of sitting back and waiting for good things to happen for them. He said it's just a perfect storm of his leadership really maturing and a huge influx of youthful energy. Thank you, Maria. And Danny, to that point, a huge emphasis on conditioning. Starting this season all the way back with what they called Utah, their 5.30 in the morning conditioning program. There's no better way to get that guys, those young guys in shape than to get them in there early in the morning. That began back just after last season ended. And Boston College is calling a timeout before their first offensive snap of the season. College. This is the first show He's ready to go. They'll open up with Chase Redding in the shotgun. And there's a play action on first down, wide open. There's Chase Pinkovich down the right sideline into plus territory. The timeout was worth it. As BC's already down to the Miami 39 yard line. Redding to the air again. 6 1 to the outside. Alex Amadon makes the catch, and that's good for about a four yard completion. It'll be second down and six, and let's take a closer look. Second down and six, a bunch look, and they'll run that way. But Andre Williams, he finds a crease. He's got a first down. Play action for Reddit. And that ball deflected as he was trying to find Spiffy Evans running the post. I mean, he's intimidating just when you say his name. That's one of those <laughs> where dad tells you, son, I gave you the name. The rest is up to you. Ready? Goes so through his progression. Deflected ball that ends up with Amadou. Will give an assist to Spiffy Evans through his hands. First and goal, hand off. Running left is Andre Williams. He eats his way inside the five yard line. Game tackle there just about shy of the four yard line. So it's a gain of five for Andre Williams. And a great mix of run and pass to this point. Seven play of the drive. Cut back by Williams. Locked into the end zone with a BC touchdown. Here's a look at the touchdown run. Watch the guards get out in front of the bag. Get their bodies on the Miami Hurricane linebackers. And the easy walk-in touchdown for Andre Williams. Boston College without arguably their best wide receiver in Bobby Swagger, certainly without their best tight end in Chris Pantelli. Their top two production receivers from two years ago now. And there's nothing better than watching your team on the opening drive of the season come out and execute the way Boston College did. An electrifying freshman, Duke Johnson, is back deep to receive the kick. Let's take it from the two. Johnson turns the corner. And gets banged out of bounds at about the 30-yard line by Jim Noel. 
So now we'll see if Stephen Morris can answer as we take a closer look at the junior that's handed the full-time reins for the first time this season, trying to replace Ja'Cory Harris. Big shoes to fill. Ja'Cory Harris had 70 career touchdowns. That's fourth all-time in the ACC. Stephen Morris is going to look different to you. More athletic, can run the ball a little bit better. Has some playing experience under his belt, too. Not much last year, but in 2010, played quite a bit, started off early, and then gave it back to Ja'Cory. Mike James, of course, the starting tailback. He's trying to replace Lamar Miller, who averaged 106 yards a game last season. And look at today's impact players for the Canes, brought to you by Chick-fil-A. In the backfield, you got their emotional leader, Mike James, outside Alan Hearns, the favorite target. Chick-fil-A off the edge. Hit her to the far side, making the catch is Alan Hearns. And he picks up about three yards out to the 32. Yeah, Anthony. Miami going no huddle, second down and seven. Here comes the blitz. A little swing pass to Johnson. And that's exactly what Boston College's defensive coaches told us, Danny, they need to do. Make sure it's on the ball quickly and we're able to contain that game. This stadium is rocking for third down and six. And there is a drop ball right into the hands of Kendall Tompkins who would have had possibly a first down had he held on. Manuel Espria was there in coverage, so three downs and out for Miami. There's Kendall Tompkins, the last guy running out on punt coverage. Both Dalton Botts with hang time. Spencer Rossitano bobbles the football, trying to make a fair catch. And there's Boston College to jump on the loose ball, saving what would have been a disaster was Manuel Espria. 40-yard punt. And about a three-yard bobble for D.C., but they hold on. And the crowd here at Alumni Stadium breathes that sigh of relief. They don't want to get hit with that deep ball. First and ten for D.C. Their first offensive possession was flawless. Ready right under center. Slants one wide open and dropping it is Alex Amadon. Well, execution is the only thing that plays the night before. It's so helpful from a mental standpoint. Draw play to Williams. And he picks up about two and a half yards. So it's going to be third down and long now for Boston College. A lot of times coaches get off on him about five or the fifth or sixth play. But now when you start making those adjustments and seeing more blitzes and a lot more looks. Third down and long. Reading all kinds of time again. And this time, Amadon holds on to a strike. And BC gets a third down conversion into plus territory to the 42-yard line. How about the pass protection? Reading to throw again. Again, well protected. Turns through the hands of Amadon. Well, again, could have brought in the slant. A little not been able to connect on it. They've been working on Tracy Howard. You see number three in the bottom right corner of your screen. True freshman cornerback, and he's a special prospect. Second and ten. They want the screen left. Taj Kimball blockers out in front. Spins for the first down. Great spot for Reddick. Five of eight for 93 yards. Williams with a flag down, gets popped at the line by Chicolo and brought down for no gain, but we'll have to check the penalty. Second down and close to 11, end around to Amadon. He has no room up the far sideline. Just trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, might have lost another year, uh, yard or so. Austin College up 7-0 on Miami. But they're faced with a third down and 11 now inside the UM35. Redding, again, well protected over the middle. He's got Amadon again. Check that Brian Miller, the tight end, dragging over the middle. The pass protection has been flawless for Boston College. That's a gain of 19. Third down and 11 conversion for BC has them back in the red zone. Nice play action fake by Redding. In the flat, wide open. It's Christopher at the goal line. Is he in? Yes. Touchdown, BC. Nine plays, 
70 yards, and it's 14 to nothing. Okay. Luke Reddick sit, sit back there all day long. Alex Howell will kick it deep. This time it's Philip Dorsett from the nine. He's got a lane. Runs through the tackle of the kicker. Finally caught from behind. And maybe a spark on special teams for Miami as Dorsett gets all the way out to the 46. And we have an epic matchup. Win back-to-back -back titles. Camden R. Robinson beat the SEC defense. Great matchup. Mike James going nowhere. Lost at least three yards. Caleb Ramsey, who was second down at 13. Steven Morris swings one wide to Johnson. Who's Johnson? Makes the man miss in the open field, but quickly as Bria comes over to make the tackle, limiting it to a get their quicker backs in the space where they can make one-on-one -on -one guys miss. Three-man rush for BC, up third and long, and still Morris just out of the pocket, but dives for a first down. Terrific scramble by Stephen Morris to move the chains, and that is a much-needed first a, down for Miami. That's a defense. In case you're just joining us, a batted ball for Miami falls incomplete on first down, almost a turnover, and that would have been two. Easy drives for BC offensively have given them a 14 to nothing lead. Miami with a big kickoff return now in plus territory, facing second down and ten, and now third down and ten, trying to keep the drive alive. As Alan Hearns, and it's been thrilled, especially where the offense was last year. Third down and ten, again the three-man rush. Morris, all kinds of time. It's ball and it's intercepted right into the hands of Spencer Rosicano. It's not on Stephen Morris. No, he's, he's delivered a couple really nice balls today and hasn't gotten any help he from his wide The drop receiver. ball costs them a turnover for Miami. Stephen Morris, Boston College only rushing two guys, nine in coverage, is still able to find a passing lane, and you have got to step up and make that play if you're Rashawn Scott for your quarterback. Out on the water. Hard to beat the start that the home team has had. 15 to nothing. Boston College over Miami, and BC back in business after the interception. Not much there on the draw play. Eddie Johnson knifes through to bring down Taj Kimball. A loss of a yard yeah, sets up get a little more down. aggressive, like we were mentioning, Bob, and take some more chances. Out of the front set, they run that way on second down with Kimball. And he spins across the 35 to about the 36-yard line. A gain of five, five and a half yards. It will be third down and six. And what a huge play here for Miami. Aaron Flood intended for Colin Larmond from Chase Reddick. That's the first bad ball we've seen from Reddick as he was well protected again. And Miami gets off the field, forces the three and out. Wide open. The Lafleur set back deep to receive in the middle of the field. It's Gerald Lovano with the rugby-style kick sends it to the near side instead of close to Malcolm Lewis. And Lewis has with a flag down, pretty good field position. Ten yard penalty, first down. So that will move the Canes back inside their own 25-yard line. You know, that, that penalty has got to drive out Golden nuts right there. He talked about wanting this team to have better discipline. It's something that's plagued this Hurricane team for the last two or three years. When he took over, they were last in the country in penalties. Knocked it down about in half, but they were still 60th. He wants to see a lot more improvement in that area. Tap hand off and find the lane. And moving the chains all the way out across the 25 to about the 27-yard line is Mike James. This is the type of movement they're going to need up front. Number 82, the tight end, picks up a nice block, leading the back through the hole. They need to start generating some movement. Little counter toss, getting James out on the edge. Makes a tackle. Check that to Johnson. And he's very close to a first down, a gain of nine to the 37-yard line. Spencer Rosatano there to make the stop. The coordinator, Bill McGovern, is going to make them drive the length of the field. Stay behind them all day long. And to the outside, Bob 
Uh, Malcolm Lewis, plenty good enough for a first game. Same a drive, no drops, no penalties. Play smart. Quick hitter again. Again, it's Malcolm Lewis. And it looks to be good enough for another Miami first down to the BC 41 yard line. So now some rhythm starting to develop for Miami Ooh, offensively. As a quarterback, as a play caller, if your offensive coordinator, Jed Fish, it can mean a world of difference. Again, no huddle. Here's Alan Hearns. And a better job by Boston Ballot that time to bottle up Hearns after a gain of three. One point. Sooner or later, Miami's going to make a mistake. Second down and seven. Another strike for Morris. This one to Alan Hearns. And it's more methodical on this drive for the Canes, but they've got another first down at the Miami, at the BC 30. It's just pitching catch out there right now. Mike James up the middle. Good for about three and a half more yards. Second down and a long six upcoming. Like, yeah, where's number 40? Be nice to see number 40 out there. Keekley's gone. Just shy of the first down marker on that completion is Alan Hearns at the 21-yard line. So Miami a third down and one. Before BC can get set on the sneak, it's Stephen Morris. Did he get there? It looks like he might be a half yard shy. And not much push up front. And it looks like the Kings are going to go for it. They'll still go no huddle, but change personnel. Duke Johnson to the right of Morris in the backfield. Fourth down and a foot. They'll run the option. Johnson to the sticks. Takes the hat. And he's got the first down. A flag down as well. Al Golden out with a big fist pump for his true freshman running back. Well, Duke, but there's a flag down <laughs> right there. Jim down Noel down. called for the penalty. Beautiful play call. Stephen Morris working that option with Duke Johnson right down the line of scrimmage. And then Duke Johnson, not the biggest guy, 5'9", 188 pounds. You see the face mask clearly at the end of that play. But I love how he stuck his shoulder down and got that first down. With the penalty, though, it's first and goal. Morris using his legs. At the five. He's going to go about the two-yard line. Mike James helps seal a block inside to free up Stephen Morris. Second down and goal. Eduardo Clements now in the game as the tailback. He takes the handoff. Low left at the goal line. BC holds him out. It'll be third down. Situation. They need to step up to the physical challenge. Can they do it? Clements at the goal line. That time he's in. Touchdown, Hurricane. That is a huge drive for Miami to get on the board late here in the first quarter. Here, it looks like he got in. Get a much better look at it. He only needed about a half a yard to get in. Well, obviously you can't tell. But like I was saying, from up here, just the momentum looked like his body was across. Here's a much better look. His knees are off the ground. Looks like the ball is clearly across the plane. Boston College still has the lead, but Miami now has a lot of momentum. A great start between BC and UM. So BC about to get the football back. Black Claws kick, returnable for Stiffy Evans from the nine. Evans tries to turn the corner. Pretty good return. Out to about the 30 yard. Yeah, that was 30 pounds in a ball spot away for me. Back to work goes Chase Reddick. He finds the sophomore, Spiffy Evans, for seven yards. That might be the final play of the first quarter. It has been an eventful first quarter. Reddick is into the air. Denzel Perryman walks into the end zone with a Chase touchdown. Here's the look. We had talked so much about it. Watch the linebacker from the middle of the screen start working that way. Once he sees Chase Reddick's eyes moving in that direction, keeps going. Reddick hangs on to it just a little bit too long. And a great job reading that quarterback by Denzel Perriman. 
41-yard touchdown return for the sophomore Mike linebacker Denzel Perryman. White Claw's kick with a lot of hang time. It curls to the left corner of the end zone. Alex Amadon had been open on that slant route. Well, it seemed like Denzel Perriman might have sensed where he was going as well. Now back to the offense, Boston College. Right, right back to the air off the interception. And he'll run out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Not that it's 7-7, but so late into the second quarter that the Falcons are hanging in there. Miles Trimble has a couple of jumps. Very close to a first down as we take a look at our position. up. Play action take for Reddit. Trying to buy himself some time, looking for the home run ball to Amadon. Out of bounds inside the UM 35. Another big chunk play for the BC really offense. Right there. The executing nicely. Play clock down to eight. Plenty of time for Reddick. He's one of the sidelines and been called in by Jonathan Coleman for a game. Yeah, he can go to from different looks. Shotgun on second and five. Andre Williams and Saj Trimble both in the backfield. And still Reddick goes to the air. Up the speed and it's pulled in. Inside the 15 down to about has had a clean pocket to operate from it. It's first and ten at the 12. Andre Williams picks up two yards to the 10 yard line. You know, from he puts him in the best one. Williams again. Close to the six yard line. It'll be third down and four. So showing the shift. In motion goes CJ Carson. And now Spiffy Evans back the other way on third down. And it looks like Boston College covers it up, but they'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. Sinkovic saves a chance for three as Boston College fumbles the exchange going for seven. Ten for 16 on the season. And he has a terrific leg, and this one from only 26 yards out. Right down the middle. So Boston College stalls in the red zone, but they retake the lead. 17-14. An interception return for a touchdown by Denzel Perriman made it 14-14. Al Golden's team just giving up a field goal drive, though, to BC. This kickoff will come down to Duke Johnson at the goal line. And the tackle stumbles out to about the 22-yard line or so. <laughs> Uh, and it's cheating. First and ten for Miami at their own 23-yard line. It's cut back by Mike James. And he is near the 28-yard line for a gain of five. Sean Duggan came up to make the stop for the ball. A little wide receiver hits to their set. A nice open field tackle made by Sean Sylvia. Probably because they saw the tuition bill shortly after dropping you off. Third down and four for Miami after the timeout. DC rushes three. And Marks, in the double coverage up the sideline, has a first down. Devon Johnson makes a sliding catch out of bounds, so that's a nice conversion for the Canes, and they move the chain. On a nice throw and a tight window by Stephen Morris, throwing to his left. Nice catchable ball given to Devon Johnson. Four man left this time. Under some pressure is more. Down in the secondary. The ball pops out. Miami covers it up. Again, that's Caleb Ramsey there to get the strip. Duke Johnson stumbles, stays on his feet. Breaks another tackle. There goes the Christian. Breaks another tackle into the end zone for a Kings touchdown. What a run by Duke Johnson. Well, Duke Johnson has been all the rage. Everybody's been talking about his speed, athleticism. 
Duke Johnson, they, BC thought they had him in the backfield. A couple broken tackles. Watch the incredible balance and then the burst of speed at the end to outrun Boston College defense. This true freshman is special. On our ESPNU 150, rating the top prospects in college football. And our guys on the recruiting page do a terrific job. They had Duke Johnson ranked as the number 10 running back prospect in the nation. And he's given Miami the lead. He's still convinced a lot of really good players to come to Miami. And one of those, Duke Johnson, that was an impressive run. Spiffy Evans on a return for Boston College. And he gets out to about the 22-yard line or so. Jonathan Allen gets to work with me. He's ready with the give for Andre Williams. And he's got at least six yards on first down. Also, Pierre missed the tackle of the line. And total yards passing and scoring. Second down is five. Williams. Another strong run. Close to the first down. Depends on the spot. And his offensive lineman up front. Over. Uh, Dennis Williams. Pretty good push out in front of the flag down. Brandon McGee and also a fun one to watch. First and 20 for the Eagles. Uh, for the holding penalty. Wide receiver bubble screen. Blockers out in front for Evans, but he lost the ball. Well, Spiffy Evans had a lot of room to run and had some guys out. The lay hand off to Taj Kimball. Breaks it, Tucker gets into the secondary and gets close to the 10 yards that they lost with a holding penalty. Maybe 11. Redding in the gun on third down and 10. Miami brings a four man rush. Redding well protected again. Up the side. He's got first down to Alexander Down. Again, the pocket. Stellar around the two offensive line. They are certainly both NFL prospects as well. And Amadon now to 100 yards receiving. Here's Taj Kimball. Picks up about two yards to the Miami 45-yard line. Topped by Jimmy Gaines. Returning receivers in terms of production from last year. Reddick again. All kinds of time. Alex Amadon very close to the first down. Driven back about a yard shy by Eddie Johnson. Play action for Reddick. Think of it. Wide open in the clock. All the way down to the 22-yard line as BC continues to dissect the Miami defense. Nice play of the drive. Reddick to the air again off the play action fake. Off the scene for the end zone. Right through the hands of Brian Miller. He had a step. Reddick laid it in. And Miller couldn't hold it. Well played to Williams. Picked up about two and a half yards. He see, takes the field goal lead, only to be answered with a terrific 50-plus yard touchdown run by Duke Johnson. That's where we stand now with BC driving. And on third down. Reddit, well protected again. He throws it. A jump ball in the back right corner of the end zone. It's incomplete. And the Eagles will have to settle for a pretty long field goal attempt with one for one today. And Freeze is now two for two. And it's a one-point game with three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Miami and BC continue to trade blows here at Chestnut Hill. Bob DeShusen, Danny Cannell, Maria Taylor here in Chestnut Hill. Short kickoff comes down to Duke Johnson at the 10. Run through another tackle. And it has to be brought down by a pair of Eagles at about the 28 yard line, led by the kicker Austin College with Miami spreading them out. Six defensive backs on the field. And a on the another fumble recovered by the offensive team. Jet Fish kind of settle down their offense. And let's see how it works after the timeout. Set them down to 12. Keep it on the ground with James. Lowers his shoulders out to about the 31-yard line for a gain of five. Kevin Pierre-Lewis. Austin College comes with a blitz. Wide open. Alan Hearn. And Miami has the first down. Out to the 41-yard line. A gain of 11. Stops the clock for the moment. It was not a happy homecoming today for the Nittany Lions. The Irish dominance in Ireland as well. 
Morris over the middle. Off by Asante Cleveland, the tight end. He picks up seven yards. It'll be second down. Morris, very well protected. Fires a bullet. Cleveland scoops it up for another UN first down. No, check that. They call it. And here they are yet again, faced with another critical third down. Third down and a long two, close to three. Four-man rush for Boston College. Morris well protected. Snaps one over the middle, and that's another first down. For UM, Rashawn Scott, who had the drop earlier in the game that resulted in plenty of time for Miami, still with a timeout. Morris over the middle. Asante Cleveland makes another catch for about five, maybe six. Easy minutes. underneath throws for the Hurricanes. Second and five. Here comes the blitz. Morris up the back foot. Hits ball. Almost intercepted. Well, that's on the pressure. Here's Kim Pierre Lewis coming right up the side there. Linebacker blitz. We just talked about BC being sitting back and not letting anybody get behind him, but that time dialing up a blitz to create some pressure on Stephen Morris worked to perfection. Third down and five. Nice play of the drive for Miami. Here comes the blitz again. Morris, low throw, drop. It'll be Dalton Box to try and kill it inside the 10-yard line if he can. They deflect the ball on the snap. Dalton Box trying to get to the edge and somehow gets the kick away. And it rolls into the end zone. What a play by Dalton Box to avoid disaster. Dalton Box, ACC punter. I, he might have some rugby in his background with that move right there. I mean, there were a couple things that were impressive about this. It hits the up man. That's what the that's where it went wrong. Number 91. But then ball's pretty. He kept his composure, scooped it up, showed some speed to get around the edge, and then the kick on the run. Pretty impressive by the punter. Now the touchback comes after the 20 yard line. Touchbacks are out to the 25 yard line on kickoffs this year. All other touchbacks will go to the 20. There's Al Golden talking to number 91, Olsen Pierre. That was the up man who actually the ball hit it on the ground and see what happens. And a fumble. Miami might have it back. There's a scramble for it. Jake Sinkovich at the bottom of the pile. It looks like may have gotten it for Boston College. Our fifth fumble here in the first half, and none have been recovered. You know, it's interesting that play call, a run on first down as we look at the fumble. That ball is clearly on the ground. Kimball wow. might have gotten back his own fumble. And if there's if there's ever a play that automatically has the head coach walking down the sideline of the offensive coordinator and going, hey, kneel on it, <laughs> right. it's probably that, that play <laughs> preceding yep. the end of the first half. There's lots of points and 30 minutes of football in the books. Miami with a 21-20 lead over BC. That's on the fourth next.